guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a video on 20 items that I have stopped buying. I did the men's game, the minimalist game in August. So this is kind of a follow up on that project challenge. Uh, really. So I have here 20 items that I've stopped buying. It is from beauty to fashion to technology and so on. And let's just get started because there is a lot of items on this list. <laughs> the first item that I have stopped buying is elastics. These kind of hair ties, you know. I'm more of this kind of uh, hair band thingy uh, person, hair clip or a scrunchy person. I don't really like these. I do have them, but I'm not going to buy any more because these actually kind of hurt my my head because they, they're so tight. So I don't really see the point for me personally to have these kind of hairbands. Um, so yeah, I'm a scrunchy person. The second thing that I have stopped buying is makeup wipes. My skin likes them okay but i don't see them as a necessity to my skincare routine i have found a cleansing oil or stuff like that that is so much easier to remove my makeup than a makeup wipe sometimes i miss them too when i'm being lazy but on the other hand it takes just as much time to do to use a cleansing gel or oil to remove your makeup than a cleansing wipe I'm just not going to buy them anymore. If I'm going to buy any sort of wipe, that is to remove swatches on off my hand and so on. But I don't really do that either. If I need to remove something, I just go to my cleansing oil and that works. So I don't really see the point in makeup wipes. I have stopped buying shaving gel or foam for your legs to shave your legs, you know? I haven't bought a shaving gel or shaving foam for a really long time. I think it has been like three to four years now that I haven't bought it. I just use regular shower gel to do it because it it's the same thing. I think I'm kind of allergic to a shaving foam because I get these red bumps on my legs. So I'm not going to buy that anymore at all. Then I haven't bought any kind of floss or floss sticks or anything for my teeth in a very, very long time. I haven't used them in a very long time. I do use toothpicks from time to time. We have them on our table. We have them because my boyfriend really needs them sometimes. I don't use, I don't floss. I know some people say you should floss, but I don't. And my teeth is so tied together that I can't really use a floss thingy so i i don't buy that anymore <laughs> just don't i don't buy hand soap anymore we use shower gel we buy the big tops of shower gel and that's totally fine with us if we buy some it is because we're really low but we always have shower gel so i don't really know why we should buy a hand soap we have soap di soap dispensers and we just pull it some shower gel so yeah we don't buy any fancy shower gel anymore. We have in the past and it was very, very nice. If you think about it, it is really not necessary to have a good smelling shower gel. I don't really care. <laughs> if I want something to smell nice, I will buy a nice hand cream that smells amazing or something else that rather than our shower gel or hand soap and stuff like that. So we don't buy any fancy shower gel anymore then we have hair i don't get my hair cut at a hairdresser anymore my best friend she is really good at just taking a scissor and cut my hair because i have really fine hair i i'm just needing a cut across <laughs> so i don't really have any fancy hairdo or something if I'm going to go to a hairdresser, it is to get a shorter version of the hair I have now. Then I can maybe splurge my money to it and really treat myself. But for right now, I don't go and pay for my haircuts. And my boyfriend, he doesn't go to a hair appointment or hairdresser for his hair. I just trim him because I just trim his sides. And when it gets too long on the top, I just take the trimmer and then it's fine. So we don't really use our money on that anymore. 
For a few years I was subscribed to a Glossy Box and Goodie Box, a German and a Danish one. And I have just come to the conclusion that you get so much random stuff, items, products, whatever in those boxes. And most of the times I don't really know what to do with the product or I don't like the product or it's just a waste of my time and money for that matter. Sometimes I have found some really, really nice items in the, those boxes, but really I don't need it at all. There is one box that I have considered for so long, but I just can't justify it because sometimes there really is some products in those boxes that I don't want and I'm going to get it if I subscribe to those boxes. Me and my boyfriend, we don't buy any clothes that are supposed to be only dry cleaned, so dry clean only clothes. We don't really see the point and it's really time consuming to go to the dry cleaner all the time and it's really expensive actually. So we rather just want clothes, clothing that we can just put in the washing machine and dryer and stuff like that. It's just so much easier, you know, and you really don't need an excessive amount of suits. For example, like Barney in How I Met Your Mother, you, you don't need that many suits when you're just a regular person and my boyfriend don't wear those type of things on a regular basis anyway. He's an electrician, so... And that goes along with clothing that we don't love. We are in a process of moving and we are in a process of sorting out our closets and we are trying to sort out clothing that we love and what we don't love no matter if we can fit it in fit in it or not i don't i just don't shop that much anymore i'm being more and more picky as the time goes on with my clothing and makeup for that matter something that i have most of my teenage years have collected and bought is magazines there are some pretty amazing ones uh, out there in Denmark, but I don't buy them anymore. They are rather expensive for what I think. You really only read them once, so I don't see the point of using that much money on a magazine or articles that you can maybe find online anyway. Because I follow a site on the internet that goes into my mail inbox and there are this almost this kind of same articles in that and i really enjoy just going on the internet because that is the way forward nowadays so i just don't read in the magazines we have our magazines in that paper holder thing and we never read them never i at least i don't know about my boyfriend i don't think he does it either but we don't pay for apps if I, i'm going to pay for an app I'm going to be sure, really, really sure that I'm going to use that app. Otherwise, it's just a waste of my money because I get bored of an app some quite quickly unless I use it all the time, like Instagram and stuff like that. But if it is a game, I'm not going to buy and pay my money for it. It's the same thing on my computer. And that comes to a conclusion again for a new item that I'm not go I'm, I have stopped buying and that is poor technology. Because we have our phones and we love our phones because they're so good quality. They are inexpensive for what a phone is in Denmark, but it is a good quality phone. And it is the same with my computer. I bought a Mac, uh, Air, MacBook Air. From Apple and I just really really like that computer because it's good quality in my opinion. I have had several computers just breaking and shutting down after like one or two years. I'm just done so now I'm just sticking with a MacBook because that can hold for at least four or five years and it is the same with my phone. This phone has been keeping up with me for like three years now and that is a high score. CDs can be kind of outdated nowadays. Some people use it still and we just don't. We have a lot of CDs and we're not in the right emotional place to get rid of those CDs yet. But at some point I think we will. But we have collected a few CDs that we really really love. Our bands and artists that we really really love. But we don't buy them anymore. We still collect DVDs because we are obsessed and we watch them all the time. But with CDs, we use Spotify. 
YouTube. We don't have a CD player anymore, so maybe it can go into our PlayStation that we watch our DVDs on, but we mostly just use Spotify because it contains everything that we actually need. Then we come to plastic bags. When you shop in Denmark and there are these checkout points, you can grab a plastic bag to get your groceries in. I would rather carry my groceries in my arms than buying a plastic bag and that might seem crazy to some people but we, if we forget, I rather want to carry them but we usually bring a soft bag or something um, or a net to our supermarket and that works so much better and it's better for the environment to grab a, a cotton a bag, you know, rather than a plastic bag. Then we have fabric softener. I have really... I Maybe I'm going to buy them when we get kits or something. Maybe I just don't know enough about fabric softener and washing my clothes overall. But right now I, I don't see the point in buying fabric softener. I don't really know if my mom uses it. Maybe I'm just not raised to use fabric softener. The last thing that I don't buy anymore is cereal. We do buy sometimes, not all the time. We do buy some granola kind of topping for um, some yogurt I'm eating sometimes, but at the same time we don't buy that all the time. It's only me that eats it anyway. My boyfriend really wants to have some very sugary cereal, but I say no. <laughs> That type of stuff or food is so expensive, I think, personally. And it's just containing so much sugar that I don't really know why you would eat it because I don't like it personally. I have never really eaten it. Yeah, I'm just sitting here editing the video and then I realize I forgot to mention three things. The last three things that I'm not buying anymore and I have no idea why I forgot to mention them because I have a list. I have a list and I forgot it anyway. My brain must be everywhere else than filming this video. So no one really likes when your jewelry turns on you, you know, when Oh, I buy this silver necklace and then it turns bronze, you know? When you buy cheap jewelry, they don't really last on you with their color. I have had so many rings, for example, mostly, and necklaces actually turn on me. But necklaces and rings is, is jewelry that I want to pay a good price for because I just know they last longer and I can clean them and they go back to silver again. I hope you get what I mean, but I just don't buy cheap jewelry anymore, except for statement earrings. They they, they, they actually stay true to, to the color for longer. For a long time, at least. Then we have kitchen gadgets. It's a very common thing for this type of video. Most of these things are actually. But kitchen gadgets are just, I don't know. I, I don't see the point or a, need for me to get an avocado slicer or scoop, scoop or something. I do have tools in my kitchen but they are not unnecessary gadgets. I have a lemon squeezer when you press it down. Yeah, I don't need, for example, an avocado slicer. So, a kitchen gadgets is just meh for me. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is we don't pay for cable TV so we don't have any channels on our TV we only stream and that is perfectly fine with us we have Netflix and we do have something called Viaplay which is very common in Denmark to have how I'm going to explain this some of the Danish channels that are very popular and the programs that are sent on that channel they go live on Viaplay as well, so we just pay for Viaplay 
instead of the cable. The two main channels are in Denmark, TV2 and uh, DR1. DR1 we can see for free on the internet, so we really don't see a point for paying for it. And TV2 is a streaming service as well. So in that way we are paying for cable, but we are paying for stuff that we actually want to see. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so on the two, two, two streaming service, we can watch movies and all that jazz as well. And we don't have to wait for it to come on TV2. Viaplay and TV2, the streaming service is just like Netflix, but they have Danish television <laughs> on there. So I hope that makes sense. So we don't pay for cable TV, but we do pay for streaming services and we are so fine with that we have lived with that for two years now more than two years that is the last thing that i'm not buying anymore and we my, me and my boyfriend as a household we don't buy i hope you get some kind of knowledge or um, entertainment of this video i really enjoyed doing it and if you want a part two i could gladly make it because i think i can find more stuff that I don't buy anymore. I'm completely fine living without these items, but maybe it will change. But for right now, I'm not going to buy it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below for more videos. And so you don't miss out on any, please click on the bell. And until my next video, please take care.